Hi, I'm Colin McComb. I'm the creative lead for Torment Tides of Numenera. You may have seen me in such videos as... as... as the Torment Tides of Numenera Kickstarter video. Anyway, I'm going to be doing two things here today. I'm going to be introducing our video updates, and I'm going to be talking about the themes and how they fit into our story. Here's how select video updates are going to work. We're going to show you part of the process of our development. Well, kind of anyway. What I mean is that we're going to show you an area that we're working on, and then demonstrate how various aspects of our development fit into that area as a whole. Team members who are going to be intimately involved with the creation of those particular aspects of the game are going to describe the process, so you won't be seeing me the entire time. Now, you may recall seeing the first art for the bloom. That's where we're going. It will be the center of our updates, although, I hasten to add, it will not be the center of our entire game. Uh, and we will be showing you how the various parts of our game come together in that particular area. The themes, the setting, the story, the character and the companions, uh, the systems, and the gameplay. Uh, we've got some exciting guest stars who will be showing up. Uh, at least I'm excited by them, and I certainly imagine you will be, too. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about themes. We've already given you a broad outline of what our story entails. As a recap, is essentially, the story is about your abandonment by your creator, and how you were the legacy of your sire, and how you must discover the truth about yourself, cut the ties to your creator, and create your own story before you can fully accept what your legacy will be. I realize I said legacy a whole lot there, and that's because legacy is our first theme. It is the centerpiece for our game. Our question is, what does one life matter? Does it matter at all? What legacy do we leave, and how do our actions affect those around us? Remember, in life, people don't judge you by your motivations. They judge you by your actions. They judge you by the results of your actions. And only very rarely do they judge you by your motivations. You might mean well. It doesn't matter. What does matter is what you do. The choices you make will push you and pull you in the tides. Your choices create a legacy, which we'll help you define with our legacy system, uh, and which I should add, Adam will be discussing soon. Uh, will you seek the admiration of others, or will you hide from the spotlight? Will you pursue power at the expense of love, or will you choose reason and enlightenment? Each major decision you make will help define you, and in the end, you will discover that all along you created your own answer to the question, what does one life matter? Remember, this is your answer. Our job is to guide you, to challenge you, but not to answer for you. That's your choice. Our second theme is abandonment. At the very start of the game, at the very start, you discover that you have been abandoned. Now what do you do when you've been abandoned? How do you react? Do you pine for that which was lost, or do you pick up and move forward? Do you find answers, or do you blast ahead blindly. Numenera is the perfect setting for exploring this particular theme because it is a world that is abandoned multiple times, and each time life comes creeping back. 3. Mystery. The heart of all questions, and the driver behind so many of the others. Mystery could be as simple, who used to live in this place? What is the purpose of these tools? Or as complex as finding your proper path in life and discovering what your heart truly desires. How do you approach mystery? What do you do when presented with one? Will you focus on solving it, or will you lash out physically until it disappears? In Numenera, it's all around you and will pervade the gameplay. In many cases, you will be left with questions that have no answers, the setting itself is too large and too complex, and the forerunner civilizations did not leave detailed histories behind. Much of what you find will only lead to more questions. Questions like, how does all of this tie into the setting? But I'm going to let someone else handle that one. I would like to thank you uh, for watching this, and I would like to thank you for being involved. I would like to thank you for pledging. I really appreciate your support. The entire team does. We look forward to having you with us. Thank you.